Hey G-Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool, amazing part right here in my hand. If you can see, it's by a brand called Boltune. If you want to what this is, it's a Bluetooth adapter. Oh yes, and also call this as a transmitter and a, a receiver itself. But first thing first, let me actually open up and show you guys what comes out the package first. So when you guys first open the package itself, you guys can see it says hello there. <clears throat> and when you guys remove the hello packaging itself, you guys can see that's like a little letter envelope right here. And basically what that is, is a uh, user manual instruction guide on how to set up a product and how to use it and all the different functionality that's on here. And then on the second layer itself, you guys can see that there is the actual device itself. But before I show you guys the actual device itself, I want to show you guys what else is in the package itself first. So pretty much in the bottom, they provide you all these accessories that you can use to uh, use different modes that's provided on the actual device. Like the optical cable, you guys can get the RCA. You guys have like the aux cable. You guys also have the micro USB to USB cable. So then that way you can actually charge up the device to use it. But that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now let's take a look at the actual product itself right here. So if you can see, this is basically what the product looks like. There's all the different modes on here that you guys can actually use. So that's pretty cool. They have the logo right there. They have the power switch right here to turn off and on the product. If you guys take a look here in the bottom, this is the pairing button. So it can actually pair it onto the device. If you guys turn on this side, you can see there's a TX mode, RX mode. And right here, you can see there's the AUX mode or the SPDIF modes right here. And we turn it one more time right here, you guys can see there's even more stuff here. And what is on here is the aux cable right here. There's a micro USB to charge your device. And if you guys want to use these two modes right here, you can actually plug in your optical cable to use those options. So let me actually turn it on real quick to show you guys what it looks like. So when you guys turn it on, this is basically what it looks like. So the way how you guys change it is by on the side right here. So if you guys want to use it as a transmitter or receiver, you guys can use those options based on what you guys want to use it for. And just to give you guys an idea of what each mode does. So if you guys use the transmitter mode, basically it's transmitting the audio from your TV or device onto your headphone. And for this device, you guys can actually pair two devices at the same time. So if you guys want to listen to audio also with like your girlfriend or your friend or whatever, um, you guys can use the option on here. But if you guys use the receiver mode, then it'll actually get the audio from your devices itself like your iPhones and it will actually uh, pair it onto your speakers to play onto like something like this and here's another diagram just for like a reference if you guys are wondering like what device you can use for each mode so the only way for us to find out when it actually works and how well it works is to actually go test it out so let me actually go to a quick test to show you guys how the product works and when it charges and whatnot and then come back and talk more about the product itself so as you can see, this is basically what I'm using right now for like the TX and RX receiver and transmitter right now for like my Bluetooth audio for the TV. And now I'm gonna unplug this and put the new one, which is what I showed you guys earlier, to see what the difference and how well it performs. So basically when we have the product plugged in, you can see there's a red indicator right here to let you guys know when it's charging. And then you guys can see that the product is already now, so we'll give it a try and see how it performs. So basically right now I'm going to use the TX mode and the AUX mode because I want to use the Bluetooth to pair onto my TV and uh, use the Bluetooth speakers that I have. So I have the product all plugged in and everything, so what we have to do now is press the power pair button right here in the bottom and then see if it works or not. So right now you can see that it's looking for the device and it's connected and you can find the device. So it's all paired up now, so let's give it a try and see how well it performs. This program is brought to you by Jardians. Jardians can reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults who also have known heart disease, so it could help save your life from a heart attack or stroke. Including dehydration, genital yeast or urinary tract So I can hear that the product is working, it's all paired up correctly to the transmitter and receiver. So the product actually works really well. Uh, but let's give it a try and see when it actually pairs two devices at the same time. Alright, so it connected to two devices right now. One of them is the speaker and it's the other one is my headphone right now. So that's why it's showing A and B on the actual device if you can see. And just to prove it to you guys, I'm gonna let you guys listen to the audio that's on this headphone that I have right now. So as you can hear from the audio is coming straight off on the TV right now. You diet, exercise. But if you're also taking fish oil somewhere, you should know they are not FDA approved. They may have saturated fat. Alright, welcome back guys. So now that you guys saw a test of product, you can see it actually does work and she works really well. Definitely really easy to use and everything, super lightweight and whatnot. Love the option of how you can change like all the different modes. Um, this one actually has more modes and more options than my other Bluetooth adapter or, or transmitter receiver that I have. Whereas this has the option where you can actually use the optical cable as well, if you guys can see right there. So roughly this product should last around like 20 hours on uh, no charge and whatnot when you guys fully charge the product. But you guys can definitely leave it charging like how I have it from my other one right now now in the video if you guys saw uh, I just leave it charging uh, forever so that way it never runs out of battery but in terms of like the Bluetooth range you guys can actually use this up to like 33 feet of range so that's basically everything that's on the product itself 
Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I have to say that this is actually worth it because you won't want or need one of these. <laughs> Especially because this one has a lot more options than the other one that I showed you guys in the video, like how I mentioned earlier. But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this little unboxing, testing, and feedback with this product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you just want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan show of the day we have...